Mom whose son is in Chinese jail has message for Trump it doesn't sound anything like Lavar Walls. After three college basketball players were allowed to return home from China despite facing charges of shoplifting, the mother of another athlete is pleading for her own son's release. In a Fox and Friends interview on Friday, Antoinette Brown explained the circumstances leading up the arrest of her son, former Wall State football player Wendell Brown, during an extended visit to China. While Levar Wall, the father of one UCLA student released earlier this month, has publicly criticized President Donald Trump as an inconsequential force in securing the trio's freedom, Brown offered a sincere call for help from the White House. I would humbly ask for Trump to help my son who is in an unfortunate situation, she said. I would be truly grateful. She explained 30-year-old Wendell Brown had been in China for about a year, coaching in a football league and teaching English, prior to his arrest at a bar in September 2016. He was attacked by a group of locals throwing bottles at him, Brown said. Unfortunately, he was the only one arrested after the attack on his life. Now facing charges related to intentionally causing injury, she said her son and family are stuck in limbo as a Chinese court determines his fate. I understand their process is lengthy, their legal system, and we're waiting, Brown said. Her son's attorneys did an amazing job in proving his innocence during the trial, she claimed, but that was several months ago and there has still been no update from the judge. We pray for fair justice for an innocent man, she said. Trump made it clear after the UCLA players were freed that he wanted them to acknowledge his role in the process. Whereas Wall has denied Trump that recognition in a series of public statements, Brown said she would have no such hesitation. If the president helps bring her son home, she said she most definitely would thank him with no problem. Brown said she is only able to communicate with her son through correspondences delivered monthly via the U.S. consulate. Though he has replied that he is holding up fine and praying daily, Brown said the situation is heartbreaking and sad for the family, especially during the holiday season. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below.